What up, YouTube? Uh, all right, we're gonna um straight to the point. I'm gonna make my canvases that I paint on. I need to make four more 36 by 24 inch canvases for um, my helmet painting series. So now we're gonna uh, cut the wood to size. We'll be right back. Almost forgot I need to measure it, so I might as well, we might as well measure it. We're gonna measure the long end first. And then we'll mark that. So it'll be like 35 and a quarter. I'll go 35 and a quarter and I'll go 23 and a quarter. That's 36 by 24. 23 and a quarter. It sure is on the dot. Um, Let's go cut these. Let's go cut everything. I'm gonna cut all four. All right, we got the wood. We cut the wood, as you can see. Um, 35 and a quarter, 23 and a quarter. Uh, what is this? This is the, this will be inside. This will be inside, by the way. And it's 22 and a half. 22 and a half inches, which is the, the inside. Four of those, eight of these, eight of these. And I do have a nail gun. Um, these nails are ridiculous. Two inch nails, by the way. Two inch nails. It's about to go down. Um, yeah, we're gonna make all this real quick. BRB. This is a order cable nail gun. I mean, it's like a stapler nail gun type beat. Um, normally I use wood glue. See, I, I put them on the side and you'll see the other way. My nail gun is two inches. I put about three. This goes on the top. See, this goes on the side. This goes on the top. That could have been off screen though. That, and do the 
the opposite. That and that. Goes in the middle sideways. Stick this shit snug. Um, that's why I like my my grid board. I get to make sure everything is straight. Oops, see that? Two-inch nails is ridiculous. Thicker wood. I was using it for thicker wood. Two-inch nails is ridiculous. Way too big. Over this side, because that will jack you up. Let's uh, let's put on the um the canvas. This is not Osnenberg uh, to be fair I do want to use my Osnenberg but this is probably the next uh, type of uh, canvas that I'm going to use. This is my Osnenberg. Osnenberg is It's, uh, it's about the same though. So we'll see how this feels when I paint it. But I know how this feels. You wanna pull slightly out. Out as you staple. Don't just pull over, pull out. This is super giant. I mean, this, I normally make these crazy tight because when I paint the, when I do the primer coat, I don't use gesso. I use interior flat white paint, which is $10. Gesso is $50 a gallon, or probably more than that, a gallon. And what I use is $10 a gallon, which I've been using for 20 years.
This goes down. I normally cut this extra. Actually makes me want to paint this BRB. Okay, this is my um, this is my primer, my gesso type thing. It's uh, I use color plates, uh, flat white, flat matte white in interior premixed color, flat white. It's just like. Um, gesso. It's it's basically gesso. It's basically gesso. And I, I normally put water. I normally put water in there to loosen it up because it's super thick. Super thick. I mean, this is even thicker than I thought. I normally wanted to just at least go through it yeah this is gonna be super thick i didn't even want it to be this thick but we'll see how it dries And normally I put one coat, one coat, because I like a thin canvas. And this is just looking kind of super thick already. But I like a, a thin canvas. Did we speed it up? I probably did. Paint the sides. Right. It's not bad. 
but you know I paint like this, so. Normally there's sun out, so I'll know what I need to hit more. Looks good. There we go, boys. How to stretch and paint your own canvases. We'll let that probably dry and GG's. Forgot to show you guys these. We stretched the canvas with these earlier and this is another option you just buy 36 inch by 24 inch uh, from eBay or Amazon and they connect this this way you don't need um, the nail gun you just need the staple yeah, the staple gun. So this is just an example. You straighten it up with your grid. Straighten it up with your grid. And to lock them up, I normally do two, two at an angle, and that's another way to stretch the canvases. I'm going to save that for I'm going to do this right now. And that's how you make your own canvases. Paint them, stretch them, get them ready to go. Like, comment, and subscribe. I might make a bigger one on, on here uh, soon, so... We'll see. I'll probably make a giant one. Woo. We'll go like eight foot by six foot or something. Is this eight foot by six? Yeah, we'll try to do like an eight foot by six foot back here. Just a big giant canvas. Or why do I keep calling canvas print? Big giant canvas. All right, boys. Like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what you want to see next. Appreciate it.